2010 Opportunity Green Business Conference. I'm standing next to Rick Ridgway, who has been a longtime environmental activist and supporter of the green business movement. Rick, could you tell me a, a couple of words about, could you share with me a couple of reasons why you're at the Green Business Conference today? Yeah, well, the Green Business Conference pulls in a lot of young people, uh, young entrepreneurs, uh, business owners of young emerging businesses. And if we have a chance uh, to share uh, what we've learned uh, in Patagonia about running business sustainably, uh, and if that, if our learnings influence a few people here to uh, maybe uh, take our lead and, uh, and and do their best to reduce the footprints uh, and the operations in their own businesses, then, then we've, made a, we've made a change. And we're in business to try to implement solutions to the environmental crisis. I mean, that's our mission statement. And if we can influence other businesses into better practices, then we're achieving our own mission. That's why I'm here. Great. And could you could you share with me um, a few words of wisdom for people who are really working to increase collaboration among the green and sustainable business world? Um, I know that you're very involved in environmental activism and supporting local environmental activists. Um, could you tell me uh, a few reasons why you think it's important for, for the members of the community to work together and could you give me a few um, words of advice on how we can do how we can make the world better by working together you know one thing we do at Patagonia uh, to, again to try to achieve our mission which is to implement solutions to the environmental crisis is to support activists who are trying to do that kind of work uh, we actively support in environmental groups that are usually small local regional backyard organizations right. working to save their beaches and their unique. wetlands and their forests and their rivers from environmental degradation. We give them grants. We give them money. We give 430 grants a year to small regional local environmental groups. We've given millions and millions of Forty million dollars so far to those kind of groups and because we know that in the end it is we the citizens who can force the most change in our own society. You know what? It's always been that way in the history of the United States. Going back to the first tea boxes that got thrown into the harbor, I had to see those people, you know, co-opting. They were fighting co for, that for, their, for the democratic yeah. ideals. And go and right. They go, believe in. They did. In progress. It is. It is. It is civil society that is the most effective agent of change in our country. And supporting activists, supporting that civil society, supporting the activists who are in these groups who are who are working committing their lives to environmental change is one of the most important things we can do as a business. And if we can inspire other companies to do that, yeah, hooray. That's, what we want, that's why we want to be here. Well, thank you so much for You're sharing welcome. your words of wisdom on why we should all demonstrate civic virtue. Great. Thank you. Thank Great you. Great to be here. I'm Libby Donnell at Opportunity Green.